Friends, today is uh, September 20, 2023. It's a Wednesday. Our verse for today, a single beautiful verse, is from Jesus in the Sermon on the Mount, chapter 5, verse 40, when he says this, If anyone wants to sue you and take your shirt, give your coat as well. Ah, wow. So this, we yesterday we dealt with insults, uh, being slapped on the cheek, which is a, a physical way of insulting someone. We also, it covers verbal insults where our dignity is affronted. Here our property is being uh, damaged. And um, notice this is not, um, Jesus doesn't say, hey, you know, if someone plucks out your left eye, offer them your right, right? If someone uh, slashes you with a, a knife in your left arm, why don't you just show them your other arm so they can hit you again? This is not uh, victimhood for the sake of victimhood. This is something different. It's a form of uh, resistance. It's a form of demonstration that shows that there's another way of operating in the world that's beyond re not only revenge, but it's beyond reciprocity. It's beyond proportionate punishment. It moves into the realm of grace, the thing that isn't deserved. And so um, th th this is significant in the, in the story we have because the coat and the cloak were the two major garments. You had a cloak or a shirt that you wore and then you had a coat that went over that uh, for when it was cold you often would sleep in that at night um, be like a comforter kind of and so um, these are major items that someone is suing you for uh, but Jesus says there's times when you got to go naked rather than fight um, your property is being wrong but you're we're being asked to consider being non-defensive and non-litigious even attacks that are potentially unfair are seen as op opportunities to love ways in, in, in to love others in ways that change hearts and open minds. You know, uh, in a civilized world, a lot of conflicts are played out in the courts. And think how much different our life would be if we resisted the opportunity, to insist always on our own rights, and and put everything into year-long disputes that went on and on. Now. We don't want to be taken advantage of by people who are then going to go on and take advantage of others. You can sometimes see that coming. So these can be hard decisions. Um, and there is times when all you can achieve in a situation is justice, right? You can't go beyond justice in a given situation. But you can often, even in situations you're seeking justice, do so without an angry heart. Do, do so without a, a vindictive attitude, right? And find surprising ways to move some grace into those into those difficult situations let's pray lord help us to be uh, ready to defend the rights of the vulnerable but also slow to always insist on our own rights we ask this in your son's great name amen